hurricanes, ice storms, blackouts, and rolling brownouts. The prospect of social unrest. When the unexpected happens, will you be ready? When your lights go out, will you be in the dark? There has never been a better time to get off the grid and generate your own supply of electrical power. Here's why. More and more Americans are now using solar-powered generators to get household basics off the grid and provide emergency electrical power in the event of a disaster. Unlike gas generators, solar-powered generators don't produce dangerous fumes. They run quietly, since there are no moving parts. The biggest problem with gas generators isn't just noise, it's, well, they need gas. Typically, when the power goes out, folks get scared and flock to the gas stations, creating chaos and confusion, only to find out that gas pumps run on electricity, too. A solar generator has no moving parts, requires no gas, and can last for 25 years or more. A solar power generator kit consists of four primary components. The Power Source 1800, a massive deep cell battery backup, an ultra efficient solar panel for rapid charge times, a charge controller to keep your battery from overcharging, 50 feet of cable for your solar panel. The system takes only a couple of minutes to set up. Just plug your generator into the solar panel and simply plug your appliances into the generator. It's easy because it's all designed to be plug and play. You can use a solar generator for emergencies or you can run it every single day to cut your power and light bill. Run sump pumps, shortwave radios, computers, even keep food from spoiling. But the absolute best part is that a solar generator lets you produce your own electrical power for free. It's simply the most affordable and realizable way to get your basics off the grid right now. Remember, power companies don't own the sun. Neither does the government. It's yours to use for free to produce your own power. And whether it's hurricanes, an ice storm, brownouts or blackouts, you'll never have to suffer through painful power outages again. Don't wait. Be ready when the power goes out with a solar power generator. It's total peace of mind knowing if the power goes out tomorrow, you've got a backup in place. Read the important information below to find out about taking your first step towards getting off the grid. When it comes to the cutting edge technologies that they want to employ, in their own lives and that's why I'm coming to you today excited to talk to you about the most powerful system we have powerful both in terms of its ability to collect sunlight and of course powerful when it comes to tapping into your stored power I'd like to spend the next few when it moments comes to the power hub plus I want you to know that this is the unit that I use that I personally vouch for for a host of reasons but I want to focus on two of them right now it gives me four 100 amp hour batteries, so 400 amp hours of power stored in the Power Hub Plus. Additionally, it gives me four 150 watt solar panels. Quickly doing the math, let me say 150, okay, that's, that's 600 watts of ability to capture the free and ubiquitous energies of the sun. And then again in the Power Hub Plus to be able to store those energies for when you need it the most but don't take my word for it when it comes to all things mechanical all things electrical I like to turn to our head electrical engineer here at solutions from science none other than David Fink so we added four 150 watt solar panels they say Brian I need the ability to store more of that power for a rainy day or a cloudy day so we went ahead and added in the power hub plus four 100 amp hour batteries because you asked us to we understand what it's like in emergency situation say you come home you're driving down your street everyone else is dark how great will it be when you know you can power up in an emergency where none of your neighbors can you have the power hub plus and it's going to allow you to do just that now there's a host of applications and I'm not going to go into them now you know best how you'll use your power hub plus to supply your energy needs in that emergency situation. We hear from people all the time, guys, if I've got a freezer, how am I gonna keep my meat, my chicken, my po fish, poultry, whatever the food source is, how am I gonna keep it frozen? How am I gonna supply electricity? How am I gonna power my cell phone? How am I gonna power maybe even a sump pump? 
The list is endless, and it's up to you to decide how you'll use your new Power Hub Plus to supply those energy needs. Another thing that I love about the Power Hub Plus, in addition to being a turnkey operation, you're not going to have to worry about doing any of the wiring, any of the configuration. We've gone ahead, as Dave Fink explained, and done all of that for you. Once your Power Hub Plus arrives, you'll have four 100 amp hour batteries, four 150 watts state of the art solar panels. But something else that comes in the package you may not see right away, but it'll have a long term impact down the road. We're going to talk in just a moment about both the federal and the state tax breaks that you can get when you purchase a Power Hub Plus. Now, before I let you go, check the bottom of the page here. Not just for the special price that we're offering so that you can hook up with your new Power Hub Plus, also information on both the federal and the state tax breaks that you could very well be eligible for when you purchase the Power Hub Plus. Because remember, it allows you to get off the grid, and our government's pretty fired up to incentivize you to do just that. Make sure you check at the bottom of the page for all the details. Oh, and I might also add, check with your accountant. He or she will know exactly what you need to do to receive your state tax break given the state that you live in. To give you an idea of a display of what this unit can power, in an emergency situation you might need certain things like light to read by, to do medical treatment by, to see by, and mind you that this light we have plugged in here, this is just, all this is is 60 watts, but our total load right now for what this generator will do on this is totally on its stored power. This is at nighttime, is uh, with no solar feeding it. Right now, we only have a quarter of the load that it's capable of doing. We had to use two surge strips already to split it up, and we haven't even touched it yet, its capabilities. So you have light, we can add a lot more lights to it. And that's critical. Like I say, medical maintenance, morale, uh, for people that are scared, you say, well, why is the television and surround sound system on and satellite receiver and DVD player? Well, that's because it was all on a surge strip, so that was the quickest way. But this can be communications. This, at the same time, could be charging up cell phones if you're into cell phones. Your communications radios all simultaneously. Right here, the satellites in the sky do not know that there's a mass power outage or civil unrest down here on Earth, they're still, they're still uh, sending transmissions. So by being able to power the satellite receiver and the TV, now we have access to news from other areas. So you're a lot better off than the people who don't have this backup uh, generator. The DVD player would be useless. You wouldn't want to waste power on something like that uh, during a critical time anyway. So this is just a small sample, like I say, only about a quarter of what it's capable of. We could have numerous more lights. And what's really neat, too, is uh, I'll have to go this way to show you, but the generator is also powering, right now, our refrigerator and freezer. And you can hear it running. We've been opening the doors. So we're, keep, we're maintaining our food in the evening in an emergency. So now we have our food preserved. We can also look up those instant hot water pots to heat water for sanitation purposes or drinking purposes uh, out of your water storage. And so I want to point out that you have many capabilities with this and you're not putting out noxious fumes. Your unit is indoors secure with you. Unlike a gas powered generator, you don't have to worry about gas and oil maintenance, the noise is not alerting neighbors and other people that you have power and capabilities when they don't because that can turn people into criminals real quickly in a disaster situation. They will want your generator. You're not alerting them to that and it's safe indoors where you are where you can protect it. Now this is just an, uh, for illustrative purposes as well, we're still running a hunt refrigerator running, uh, just a light. We could have several, several more and then communications abilities to find out what's going on around you. Um, and right now we're only about a quarter of its load.